security law has been described as the end of Hong Kong's one country, two systems arrangement. China had kept the details of the law under wraps even after it was enacted in the city. But now the full text has been published and it seems the fears were indeed justified. A new National Security Committee will be established in Hong Kong to enforce and uphold this law. Special police and prosecution teams will also be formed to deal with cases under this law. Here's a list of crimes for which residents can now be prosecuted in Hong Kong. Attempts at succession, trying to alter Hong Kong's legal status, colluding with foreign powers and attacking Beijing's offices in Hong Kong. These are just some of the major provisions and could very easily be applied against pro-democracy activists. As reported earlier, the maximum punishment under the security law is life imprisonment. Principal offenders can get anywhere between 10 years and a lifetime in jail. Active participants may be sentenced to between 10 and 3 years in prison. Charges of abetting and funding these crimes can attract a maximum of 10 years. This law also places vast investigative powers on the police. The police has been empowered to search houses and vehicles for sus suspects and also carry out covert surveillance after obtaining the chief executive's approval. The last provision is essentially a green signal to spy on pro-democracy activists. Beijing will also be setting up a special office to implement the security law. All staffers at this office will be appointed by Beijing. Under three conditions, Beijing is now empowered to take over prosecution of any case under this new law. If a foreign power is involved, if the security threat is imminent, and if the regional committee to, is unable to enforce the law in full effect. These are vague definitions which will depend on the chief executive submission to Beijing. If Beijing takes over a case, it will then be tried in a court of the Supreme People's Court's choosing. The law also calls for teaching national security matters in schools and universities. The regional enforcing committee will be supervised and controlled by Beijing with the help of a national security advisor, who will be another Beijing appointee. The new security laws will take precedence over Hong Kong's local laws if they contradict each other. The power to interpret these laws lies within China's National People's Congress. Not even the Hong Kong legislature can offer any alternate interpretation.